I like what I do, and I'm 41 years old, and I'm damn good at what I do. That's good enough reason to get up in the morning. Linda Ellerby <laughs> is a hero to those of us in TV who value skill and honesty. ABC's like Ted Cobble once said, okay, What I'll can you say about Linda Ellerby? The woman is raucous and irreverent and writes like a dream. To TV viewers and her 14 years at NBC, she could always be counted on to cut through the hype and get to the heart of whatever she was covering. My big complaint, and I've certainly said it often enough and loud enough, about television news is that far too often those of us who put it together think we're very much smarter than anyone who's watching simply because we're putting it together and you're watching. The world's most accomplished actor. After NBC News, Weekend, Overnight, and her weekly TGIF segment on the Today Show, she and NBC parted company. And now she does TGIF for Good Morning America, as well as co-hosting Our World with Ray Gandolf. She hopes to stay put for a while, although she's become nearly as well known for her goodbyes as her hellos. At NBC News Overnight... The final quote is from Mark Twain, discussing the young missionary who went out among the cannibals. Said Twain, they listened with the greatest of interest to everything he had to say, and then they ate him. This is the 367th edition of Overnight. There are no more. And so it goes. And at the Today Show. I want to thank you for watching. I hope I didn't bore you. Now it's time for me to go. But as someone said, every exit is an entry somewhere. And so it goes. But her finest moment. I think it would have to be standing on the stage at Columbia University at the DuPont Awards, which are the Pulitzer Prizes of television, uh, with a group of people from a little bitty, no account, no frills, no budget show, and having them read out the words, and to NBC News overnight, in the opinion of the judges, probably the most intelligent and best written newscast ever. That wasn't a bad moment as moments go. <laughs> Linda's divorced and lives with her two kids, Vanessa and Josh, in Manhattan. If you really want to get to know someone, always ask the children. You're asking about a woman who throws televisions out of windows. Yeah, I mean, that's an old story. Yeah. Yeah. She's just crazy in her own stuff bizarre way. She never grew up. She got old, but she never grew up. Television has been a, a good way for me to support my children, and right well. But it, the other side of it is it's also taken a lot from my children and my children have given up a lot because of my work and I just have to count on their forgiveness but she still finds time for playtime you, you've tried to teach me to juggle before and I can't juggle I can't even catch a frisbee and you want to embarrass me in front of a television camera it's hard to say what motivates people to work hard, to rise to the level of success their talent dictates. For Linda, it was not only her need to express herself, but it goes back to the biggest turning point in her life. Probably the biggest uh, it took place in Alaska years ago uh, when my children were quite small and my husband was fired from his job for political reasons. and, and he was a good man, and he was in the right position. He lost his job, and they wrote out to it on the newspaper, and people came to our house and brought us flowers and fruit that night. And he and I went to bed that night, and I was feeling all good about it, and he went to sleep. And all of a sudden, I lay there, and I thought to myself, we have two babies, and we don't have food for next week. And I have allowed that all to depend on one person, so that I am just as caught in this trap as anyone else. I will never do that again. <laughs> And so it goes, is not only Linda's way of ending her broadcast, it's also the title of her book, a bestseller. When I was on the book tour, uh, a lot of newspaper writers from the book pages would come up to me and they'd say, I read your book and I loved it. How astounding. You can actually write. What do they think I've been doing for 14 years on television? Where does Linda's feisty independence come from? From Texas, where she was born and raised, and from her parents. She visited Texas for a Today piece on her hometown, and she remembers vividly the time she spent with her mother, who passed away a few years ago. I treasure that time that we had together toward the end. I learned a lot of courage from her. She disagreed with a lot of what I thought and a lot of what I did. But she's the one that taught me to disagree and to stand up for what I believed in, along with my father. Linda Ellerby, writer, journalist, mother, and a very busy person. Where was I? I'm never going to get to the verb if I don't get back to this writing. And so it goes. <laughs>